I'm Felisa Conrad Burton. I go to George Mason University. I'm here with the Suli program, and the project I'm working on this summer is dealing with using explosives to render biological weapons inactive through iodine gas, which is done by using different iodates as oxidizers. So here in this lab, we measure the thermal properties of the different iodates using this, which is a differential scanning calibrator, which measures the heat flow as you heat up the iodate. It's analytical chemistry, physical chemistry, and it's really helping me prepare for grad school and the type of work I want to continue to do. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Sharon Lal Ramnarin from Queensborough Community College. And I'm here with a team of students this summer through the Ellis AMP internship program that's funded by the NSF. And we're working in the chemistry department uh, with Jim Wishart. My student is preparing an ionic liquid. It's a t this particular one is a two-step process. So he's uh, just exchanging uh, one of the ions, and when he does that, he can change the compound from being a solid that's high melting to actually a liquid at room temperature. And through the support of the various programs, I've been able to mentor over two dozen students and expose them to research at a national lab. Hi, my name is Do Am. I go to Suffolk County Community College um, in the CCI program. And um, for my project this summer, uh, I've been working on modeling the layout of the data center here. Um, so a lot of the hardware um, information is put in into this uh, inventory management system on, um, on their inter internal network. And I'm using that information about the location and dimensions of all the components in the uh, data center to map, map it out. My name is Samantha Miller. I go to St. Joseph's College. I'm in the Suli um, internship program. I'm researching with Lisa Miller as my mentor. Basically my project is to look at all of the different ways that you can image a sample. There's a program called Fiji that a lot of medical doctors use to correlate CT scan and MRI images and it works really well. It's a good feeling to know that the research that I'm doing could help someone else with their research in the future. My name is Marcus Alfred. I'm an associate professor in the physics and astronomy department at Howard University. Um, I'm part of the VFP program here at Brookhaven National Lab. Uh, the work that I'm doing is on a 10 picosecond time of flight detector. And the cool thing about this is that it's cutting edge work that will allow us to um, increase the accuracy and precision of, of figuring out how long does it take for a particle, for example, like a muon, to go a certain distance, say from here to here. And me coming here, I'm able to actually transfer that, that knowledge about building and um, um, maintaining detectors to my students back at Howard. My name is Sabrina Santiago. I am in the transition state of going from Suffolk Community College going over to Stony Brook University. I am in a C-STEP program and I'm here in the chemistry department. I am researching with the solar neutrino group. What I'm doing here is I'm taking the surfactant and putting it through the distillator. And what that does, it gets rid of all the impurities in the surfactant that we have. And this is a key step to produce the liquid scintillators that detects the underground neutrinos. Which of the following are early symptoms of heat stress? Multiple choice answer. A, feeling tired or irritable. B, difficulty concentrating. C, muscular cramps. D, all of the above. D. That is correct, D, all of the above. My name is Allison Abraham. I just graduated from SUNY College at Old Westbury in the Chemistry and Physics Department. The goal this summer was to basically test materials uh, for isotope separation. So we're looking at the selectivity of our material uh, for a particular metal. 
last summer I had the opportunity to work with uh, large scale um, neutrino detectors and this summer I'm working with radioactivity uh, so it's really interesting the the set of skills that I'm learning is tremendous and I'll be able to apply it for my future. My name is Nawal Ahmed and I recently graduated from Stony Brook University with a degree in biology and political science. Uh, at Brookhaven I'm in the Suli program which is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy and this summer I'm working with Dr. C.J. Leo uh, and studying the process of magnification in plant cell walls. Ultimately, um, altered pathways that reduce lignin production will allow us to develop plant-based biofuel more effectively and through less expensive means. Wait, wait for me, please hang around, I'll see you when I fall asleep. I ain't under the bed, in my body, in my head, why won't somebody come and save me from this making? Hi, my name is Spencer Locks. I'm from Stony Brook University. I'm a junior in mechanical engineering, and I'm part of the SULI program here at BNL. I'm currently uh, learning about the EM cal, which is the electromagnetic colorimeter, and what we're going to be creating is these bricks that are tungsten powder and epoxy, and they have 750 scintillating fibers, much like fiber optics, that run all the way through. So eventually this will be implemented in S Phoenix. The S Phoenix project is going to be replacing currently the Phoenix project. A lot of what we do is research and development instead of, you know, just changing things that we already know. So it's exploring the unknown, which is, in my mind, a great thing.